it is said that Southern Oregon University is one of the greatest places in the world, having just the right combination of geographic beauty, intelligent inhabitants, and dedicated faculty, as well as romance. Good day, mates. I'm Stephen Irvin, and today we're going to explore the world of the college student. Well, let's go. Today, we're going to be traveling into the wilds of Southern Oregon University, home to some of the most fascinating and deadly creatures on the planet. So we'll have to be extra careful while in their territory. I'm here at one of the most beautiful places on the SOU campus, the Molting Tree. Every spring term, students come here and shed their foot coverings, leaving them in this tree. Crikey, look at this beauty. It's even got a branding tag. Have a go with that. Let's see what else we can find. All right, let's go. tracking this little beauty for a while now. Do you see what he's doing right there? He's communicating. Now, these blokes are known to be quite dangerous. I'm gonna go touch him. Now these blokes have quite a temper on them, so you have to approach very cautiously. Try to grab hold of him so that we can get a better look at him. I'm gonna to try to get him on his back. They're more docile when they're on their back. Whew. He almost saw me. He's getting very agitated. Danger, danger. Alright, getting angry. Calm, calm down. He's gonna charge. He's gonna charge! Change! What an amazing creature. I'm here at the local feeding grounds. Now, college students primarily subsist on a diet of an odd noodle type substance which has yet to be classified by modern science. All we do know is that it is completely indigestible to the regular ordinary person. I'm gonna try to lure one of them in with a, with a packet of it right now. What is he doing? I don't know. Just ignore him. Well, they're kind of cautious. I don't think they're going to take it. Oh, here's one. Woo! Look at her run. <laughs> oh, they can move really fast when they want to. Amazing. All right. We're going to try something a little different this time. And this time, try to catch one. Oh. Hey there. Hey, you want this, Sheila? Hey, you want it? Come, come on, come on, come get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We almost got it. Oh, oh she's got it. She's got, no, I'm not letting go. Oh, she's getting aggressive. She's getting very aggressive. I think we've triggered a feeding response, mate. A 
little bird whispered in my ear and told me that Hannon Library is the place to be this spring term. It's mating season here at SOU, and if we're lucky, we might just see a mating ritual. Legs, and uh, so it's definitely the touching of the whoa. And they have moved on to touching of the mandibles as normal. They're going to get closer, they're going to get closer. This is average behavior, and they're shedding the dorsal coverings. Now, this is stage three. Right now, on average, the male is going to start thrusting, but get the crest there is between his legs. And this is normal. Oh, and they're going to the I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I don't, this is the same behaviour like this before. That's oh, oh that is not normal. Well, blokes and sheilas, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. But what an epic adventure! There's nothing else quite like the majestic college student. Join me next week as I attempt to wrestle. One of the most dangerous creatures on the North American continent, the deadly Howard Shriver. So you know that's not our car?